Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kulu Yaku Challenge. Today we're going to actually be taking on a Kirin for my first challenge video on the channel. I figured I'd open it up beating a Kulu Yaku with a rock because it just felt appropriate. Um, but yeah, so we're actually going to be doing a challenge quest today, taking on a low rank Kirin with a full Kulu Yaku armor set, including the helm. And there's going to be a couple rules, but there will be a prize for the person who clears it the fastest with proof. Now let's go ahead and get into the equipment that we're using for this particular quest. So, you can use any hammer that you want for this. I'm using the Pandemonium's Roots, and we're using the Exploiter Charm too, so that way we can get three levels of Weakness Exploit, so we are actually still able to get some crits in on here. But let's go into the actual equipment. We are using the Kulu Yaku Head, the Kulu Male Beta, the Vambracer's Beta, the Kulu Coil Beta, and the Kulu Greaves. So we are using the entire set, all of the Beta variety, which gives us some sockets to kind of mess around with this. Now I'm using the impact mantle and you can use pretty much whatever mantles you want i'm not going to limit you there uh but let's go ahead and go into the decorations now i know some of you may not have the ko jewels i will allow you to socket this out any way you want i'm going to be running the slugger three stamina thief three we got two levels of pro transporter because kuliyaku sets amazing oh my god uh, we've got critical eye one on here but that's just from the pieces of equipment and obviously stamina surge and then item prolonger so yeah really the only things that we've socketed in here is one tenderizer jewel and then three ko jewels and three drain jewels so not too bad you can use any weapon you want and socket this out anyway uh, i would limit it to doing this ex same exact build when i know some people might not actually have three ko jewels or three drain jewels so I don't want to limit it that way. So feel free to socket it out any way you desire. But we are doing a challenge quest with the Kulu Yaku set. And I kind of like the way it's set up right now. But what we're going to be doing for this is we're going to go over here and do a quest. Gone in a Flash, which is a five star optional quest. And this is actually how you get the Lightning Mantle. But this is the quest we're going to be doing to hunt down the Kirin. Now you can use a Mega Demon Drug as well as a Mega Armor Skin and you're allowed to use two Mega Barrel Bombs. Now no sneaking more Mega Barrel Bombs ladies and gentlemen. I have no way to prove if you use more or not but let's uh let's try not to. No cheating. Anyways, so it's a pretty straightforward fight. It's a low rank Kirin. It's not like it's tempered or anything, so it's not going to be too bad. I highly recommend using the Mialatov cocktail if you have it, because it's going to help with the DPS a little bit. But other than that, you're free to equip your Palico however you desire. Now, depending on what you're using, some weapons will be a little bit better against Kirin, and the Mialatov cocktail will definitely help out as well. Now, if you want to participate in this challenge quest, you will need to post a screenshot of your fastest time taking down Kirin with the Kulu Yaku armor and a hammer. You do need to be using a hammer. I think I said earlier that you can use any weapon, but I meant to say that you can use any hammer. So you do need to be using a hammer for this build because it makes sense with the Kulu Yaku armor. I wish I could have used the Milady's Kiss because it kind of looks like a rock and it makes more sense. But unfortunately, Kirin's super resistant to paralysis, so it's kind of defeats the purpose. But anyways, you can use any hammer with this particular set, but you will need to post a screenshot in the Discord, I will be making a channel specifically for this challenge quest. And you need, you need to be wearing the Kuluyaku armor in that screenshot. We should be able to see the weapon you're using as well. So, what you will win is the person with the fastest time with this particular set will get a $60 gift card to either the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Store. Now, I would really love to be able to do more of these challenge quests in the future. So if anybody has any ideas for challenge quests and possible prizes, then definitely let me know in the comments below. And if this is something you guys enjoy as a community, one of my favorite things to do as a YouTuber is incorporate my community as much as humanly possible. I still work a full time job, so it's a little difficult, but I really have fun with these types of things. Uh, so if this is something you guys want to do, definitely let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to share your support and smash that like button share it with your friends challenge them as well and we will be running this for an entire week so well five days we're going to be closing this out on april the 6th at 1700 eastern standard time so you guys have plenty of time to get significantly better at killing kieran with the hammer than i did this is actually my first well i did do it a, like a few months ago fought it with the hammer 
but really, <laughs> this is pretty much the first time I've fought it with a hammer in a very, very long time, and it's only like maybe the eighth time I've used the hammer total, so I'm really, really bad at it. We are going to go ahead and let my gameplay play out here, and we will post my times at the end, which isn't that great, uh, but regardless, I still had fun with it, and I hope you guys do too. I do want to point out that I am using the Kaiser Van Braces in this video, but the actual skills are exactly the same as what I've posted for the requirements. I was kind of just seeing if there was going to be any leeway for it, but real all in all, you still have the same exact stats. Because uh, I was actually using Milady's Kiss for this, and then I realized that the paralysis was just ridiculous. So I ended up with the Pandemonium's Root, and with the exact same skills that I've posted in the requirements earlier in the video. So the hammer is actually really good against Kirin. I just wish I was better at it. I wish I was a lot better at it, but I don't really ever use it, and it's not my favorite weapon to actually use. I do plan on trying to get a little bit better with it in the future, uh, but I suspect some of you guys are going to be doing this significantly faster than I did because I didn't really do that great. Uh, but I hope you guys at least enjoyed watching me derp around with the hammer in this particular challenge quest, and I hope you guys do clear it a lot faster than me because my time here at 7 minutes and 32 seconds and 70 milliseconds, not that great. But anyways, I hope it was at least enjoyable to watch. So yes, this is the Kulu Yaku Challenge. I've given you guys a little bit of leeway to set this up depending on your playstyle, and I hope you guys like that way of doing the challenge quest. Now I may make it a little bit stricter in future ones, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We do have the Street Fighter and these Horizon Zero Dawn uh, full armor sets that we can do for some challenge quests as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and if you actually want to see that in the future. Now, I did actually want to do an entire video on basically just wearing the <laughs> this Kulu Yaku head and all of the cutscenes, but for some reason it's not working in the cutscenes. It's really aggravating. I wanted to see how derpy all of them looked while wearing the stupid chicken head, and um, I was 
super sad to find out that it's just not working. So if they do actually add support for that in the future, I will be making a video on it. But definitely let me know what you guys think of these challenge quests. And if you think it's something fun to be doing with the community as a whole, I do like to try and do things like this. And I think it's going to be fun, especially with prizes involved. Hopefully that will get people to actually do it. Make sure to show Poog some love down there. But that is all I've got for the episode. Don't forget to join the Discord. I will leave a link in the description below. And make sure to post a screenshot of your fastest times killing the Kirin with this full armor set. Well, not full armor set, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say here, ladies and gentlemen. But if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Monster Hunter news, updates, and all just general shenanigans. Because I will be covering a lot of stuff, and I try and cover all the news and updates as fast as possible. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. And show your support and smash that like button. It really helps out. And if you guys want to be notified of videos as well as live streams, make sure to smash smash that little, well, don't smash it, just gently tick that bell icon so you get notified when videos go live, as well as live streams. YouTube has mentioned that they are pretty broken with their subscriptions, um, but that notification bell icon will help out a lot. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!